What happens when you pull out a mobile phone in the heart of the Middle Ages? This video explores the shockwaves sent through a world where ages collide. Imagine the scene, a world of knights and castles, suddenly faced with the glowing screen of a device from hundreds of years in the future. We're not just talking about a brief moment of surprise, we're diving into the full spectrum of reactions and consequences. But hold on to your chainmail, because our journey doesn't stop there. We'll extend beyond this initial shock to explore how modern warfare tactics could tip the scales of medieval battles, the impact of bringing future knowledge back to the past, the personal and historical ramifications of a time traveler's actions, and the speculative future of commercial time travel. We're set to uncover the cascading effects of introducing just one piece of modern technology to a bygone era. Will it lead to enlightenment, chaos, or something entirely unexpected? Welcome to When Modern Tech Meets the Middle Ages. Let's explore the mysteries of time. Our journey begins in a typical medieval village, a place untouched by the technology we take for granted. But what happens when an object from the future, a mobile phone, suddenly appears in this historical setting? At first, there's disbelief. The villagers have never seen anything like the glowing screen, the sleek design, the strange symbols. Curiosity quickly turns to suspicion and fear. In an era where the unexplainable is often attributed to witchcraft or divine intervention, how would they react to such an incomprehensible object? Would the time traveller be revered as a deity, wielding what seems to be a magical artefact? Or would they face accusations of witchcraft, a crime often punishable by death in the Middle Ages? Imagine the traveller trying to explain the technology, a task as daunting as deciphering an alien artefact. Without a common frame of reference, words like electricity, internet or applications would be meaningless. But let's consider another angle. Among the fear and suspicion, there could be a spark of wonder, a desire to understand. This single event could plant the seeds of curiosity and innovation, challenging the villagers' understanding of the world. The introduction of a mobile phone to the Middle Ages is more than a moment of cultural shock. It's a clash of timelines that challenges beliefs, stirs curiosity, and could potentially alter the course of history. What started as a simple act of revealing a phone becomes a pivotal moment of fear, misunderstanding, and the faint possibility of enlightenment. Who knows, maybe they will burn you on a stick and call you the charred witch. What would you do in their place? As we move forward, keep contemplating the balance between fear and fascination when faced with the unknown. Now imagine a medieval battlefield. The air is thick with tension. Armies clash in a dance as old as time. But what if one side had an unexpected advantage, not in weapons or numbers, but in tactics, strategies born from centuries of future warfare knowledge. In today's military strategies, success often hinges on psychology, intelligence and precision rather than sheer force. Imagine imparting these concepts to a medieval commander. Suddenly, the smaller army doesn't just stand a chance, it holds the upper hand. Consider guerrilla tactics, where smaller, more agile units leverage the element of surprise against larger, cumbersome forces. Instead of direct confrontation, they strike swiftly and vanish, eroding the enemy's strength and morale over time. Terrain becomes a critical ally. Knowledge of the land's subtle nuances can turn the tide of battle. By holding the high ground, using natural barriers for defence and scouting enemy movements, a smaller force can dictate the terms of engagement. Then, there's the mind game. Psychological warfare aims to weaken the enemy before the battle begins, spreading false information, undermining their morale, creating mistrust within their ranks. 
These tactics can lead to victory without a single blow being struck. By adopting these modern tactics, a smaller medieval army could outmaneuver and outsmart a larger foe, changing the course of history. But with such power comes unpredictability. The ripple effects could alter not just the outcome of battles, but the very fabric of medieval society. What new legends would be written and what destinies rewritten in this altered age of warfare? Initially, the impacts might seem positive. Battles avoided, plagues contained, injustices prevented. But each alteration to the timeline carries its own set of consequences, both seen and unforeseen. What happens when a battle that was supposed to happen doesn't? Or a ruler spared from an untimely death reigns longer than fate had intended? The ripple effects could reshape borders, cultures, even religions. Beyond the grand tapestry of history, there's the human element. The lives that were meant to end continue, while others that were destined to be may never come to pass. Each person's story, intertwined with the threads of history, would be rewritten. Armed with the knowledge of what might have been, the time traveller stands at the crossroads of history, holding the pen that could rewrite the past. But with each line altered, they must ask themselves, does foreknowledge bring more good than harm, or does it merely replace one set of challenges with another? In the end, the knowledge of history is a powerful tool, but whether it serves as a guide or a curse is a matter only time itself can reveal. Picture a time traveller, not just wandering through the Middle Ages, but becoming part of it, now, imagine this traveller starts a family. What seems like a personal choice ripples through time, intertwining destinies and bloodlines across centuries. This child, a blend of eras, carries genes from a distant future, traits, abilities, perhaps even immunities that are out of place in the medieval tapestry. How would this genetic anomaly influence the lineage, the community, and even the gene pool of the era. As the offspring grows, their unique attributes become apparent. Intelligence, creativity, perhaps an innate understanding of hygiene, or a resistance to diseases that plagued the era. Each attribute a seed, potentially altering the course of human development. Imagine the implications. A single individual with advanced knowledge or natural resistance to disease could change the survival rates of entire communities. They could inspire early discoveries, influence political or social structures, or even alter the course of wars and conquests. But the question remains, how would these changes echo through time? Would they accelerate humanity's progress, or would they lead to unforeseen consequences reshaping history in ways we can only imagine? This blending of times, of lives, not meant to coexist, challenges our understanding of causality and destiny. The time traveler's child, a living bridge between worlds, becomes a testament to the unforeseen power of individual influence. In the tapestry of time, each thread is vital, but some, once woven, can redefine the pattern entirely. Fast forward to a not-so-distant future where time travel has moved from science fiction to reality. Companies now offer a service once thought impossible, journeys back in time. But this isn't a simple vacation package. It comes with rules, regulations and a hefty price tag. Imagine walking into a time travel agency where the past is just a purchase away. But choosing your destination is only the first step. Each journey comes with strict guidelines designed to prevent travellers from altering historical events, known as the non-interference policy. The rules are clear. Interact with no one. Change nothing. Leave no trace. The slightest deviation could unfold the fabric of time, with consequences impossible to predict. But how are these rules enforced? 
Advanced technology ensures travelers are mere shadows of the past, seen but unseen, unable to alter the course of history. But exclusivity has its price. Traveling to the Middle Ages, for example, could cost millions in today's money, making time travel a luxury for the elite. But what is the true cost of such a journey? Beyond dollars and cents, the ethical price of tampering with time remains a hotly debated issue. This commodification of time raises profound questions. Who decides which moments are open for visitation? And what are the implications of making history a playground for the wealthy? In this future, time travel may be possible, but at what cost to our moral and ethical standards? As we stand on the brink of making the past accessible, we must ask ourselves, should some doors remain closed? The future of time travel is not just a question of can we, but should we? Imagine for a moment a world where time travel is as common as flying to another country, but beyond leisure and education, there's a pivotal application, solving crimes. Time travel could revolutionize law enforcement and justice, unsolved mysteries, cold cases, missing persons, all could potentially be resolved by stepping back in time. Witnesses could be interviewed years after their death. The exact sequence of events could be observed unaltered by time or human memory. But this power comes with monumental ethical questions. How do we navigate the privacy and consent of those long gone? What are the implications of interacting with past events? And how does one ensure the integrity of history remains intact? The potential to right wrongs before they happen, to bring closure to decades-old pain, is tantalizing. Yet the ripple effects could be unpredictable. Every action taken in the past could lead to a cascade of changes in the present, some beneficial, others potentially catastrophic. Throughout our journey, we've traversed a landscape where modern technology, tactics and knowledge collide with the medieval world. We've witnessed the potential for wonder, innovation and strategic advantage. But we've also faced the uncertainties, the ethical dilemmas and the unintended consequences that come with altering the past. The introduction of a mobile phone to the Middle Ages could lead to fear, worship or persecution. Modern warfare tactics might change the tide of historic battles, reshaping societies. Knowledge from history books could prevent disasters or create new ones. A time traveler's offspring could bring about unforeseen genetic and societal shifts. And with commercial time travel, while solving crimes and correcting injustices might become possible, the fabric of our reality could unravel with each alteration. Each scenario underscores a fundamental truth about time travel. Its impact extends far beyond the immediate. The butterfly effect, a concept where a single, seemingly trivial action can cause a cascade of events leading to large-scale alterations, becomes not just a theory, but a tangible reality. Yes, time travel could offer miraculous solutions to long-standing problems, solve crimes before they happen, and right the wrongs of history. But it also poses profound risks. Altering the past could lead to a present unrecognizable to us, filled with new challenges and dilemmas, possibly erasing the very essence of what makes us who we are. So, is time traveling a good idea? The answer is complex, entangled in what we value as individuals and as a society. The allure of changing our past is undeniable, but the consequences are unpredictable. As we stand at the crossroads of innovation and tradition, of potential and peril, we must ask ourselves, what is the price of altering history, and are we prepared to pay it? I invite you to join the conversation. What would you change if you could travel through time, and more importantly, should you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop imagining the what-ifs.